What's going on guys, it's Jason here and we're back with a brand new video for you guys and today we're going to do a little bit of a little bit of an opinions video, commentary video. And we're going to be talking about Power Ranger box designs, current ones, you know, from the Neo Saban era. For me, like, with, with Samurai and all that, when Neo Saban first started, I wasn't really collecting Power yeah, Ranger toys at really. that time. I tried to get back into Beyblade, get into the loop, get back into the loop with the Beyblade Caesar, the series. Started focusing more on my Transformers, more on my WWE, uh, but not Power Ranger toys, you know, not the Neo Saban toys, you know, I wasn't really feeling any of them, except Dino Charge. When Dino Charge first came out, I got hooked, I was like, okay, you know what, I should start buying the toys again. The box designs were, from what I've seen compared to the Dino Charge boxes, the box designs, and from when I was visiting stores and just passing by the toy aisles, I always thought they kind of looked similar. I always thought, okay, they kind of Bandai needs to definitely change it up, you know. And so, for example, let's just take a look at some. Um, so here it is. Um, here is the Dino Supercharge, uh, the Titano Charge Megazord. So here's the box design. This is what it looked like. The Super Ninja Steel on the Super Mega Force boxes and the Mega Force boxes and all that. There's different references out there. Uh, you can definitely take a look at them, the box designs over there and take a look at it for yourself. I mean, they look very similar to the Dino Charge box. But yeah, here it is. They would have the logo over here. The Zork Builder system show you how it works over here. You know, you got the cool designs. You know, I love the artwork. Without that doubt. You know, it has the Ranger here. It has the Box Star right over here. Or the Zord art. And then in the back would show you, you know, image from the show and instructions on how you use them. You know, little, little cool things they want to collect in the series. Um, so yeah, that's what the boxes look like. And then when the newer season count when Ninja Steel came out, that too looked very familiar. So here's another example. So here's a Bull Rider Megazord box. It's very similar to the to the other boxes. Like the boxes, they just look very similar. And um, I just thought, you know what? You know, I felt like they got they got a little bit lazy. They should. I always felt like each season should have a very unique box that represents the theme. Then, then, then they started releasing the legacy stuff, which is, um, of course, all the old G Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin stuff. And they started doing the box designs, and it's very similar to the original box. They made homage to it, and it was pretty cool. You know, I thought this was a cool thing Bandai did. Now, this is more like a hard, dense, thicker cardboard. It shows you all the, shows you what you can do. You can combine. Shows you more about the Zord. And you can see your stats right over here. And you can just story. Now that's what I felt like the boxes should have, you know, it should be just like that. It should, again, they should have their own theme. Um, but, later on, you know, in the 25th anniversary hit, when Super Ninja Steel hit, in 2018 when Super Ninja Steel hit, the 25th anniversary, they decided to, Bandai decided to, you know what, let's just revamp everything. Let's just redesign the whole boxes, you know. And, for example, here it is. This is what the new boxes look like. You know, they definitely switched it up. You finally have something that, you know what, this is give this toys a premium look. It has a crisp, clean, it's just crisp, clean look. You know, it's very simplistic. It has that premium feel, once again. You know, it has a Universal Power Rangers logo. You got the logo of the respected season over here and what Megazord it is. And then it'll show you what is included right here. It shows you a little image. And I do love the image of the Megazord and another image of the Megazord with the lightning bolt. That's cool. That good. Back of the box, you know, it would show you the toy in the back, what the toy has, and what does it consist of, what are they, you know, separate Zords, you can combine them, and it shows you what you can collect in the line. So yeah, I thought this was a big, big step in the right direction as far as box designs go for uh, Bond of America and the Power Rangers toy line. You know, and here's another cool example too, guys. Here is the here is the morphers, the boxes for the morphers here, man. We got the we got the uh, Lion Fire Morpher here for the Super Ninja Steel Red Ranger, and then we have the Zeonizer right over here. Again, completely revamped boxes, redesigned, premium look. I love it. You know, it's a definite change for the previous boxes, cause that's what I felt like we needed. Uh, we needed some change as far as toy designs and boxes the boxes go and then here for the figures you know for what I got here is the auto warfare green for example you know I have the legacy boxes they the for the figures it's in a silver box just like this 
very similar to the other boxes lightning bolt with the ranger on them so for that one i kind of sort of like the boxes uh the previous legacy figure boxes um those ones for sure were really nice i do i did love the big image of the rangers on the left side big figure right? the figure over here power rangers um i just thought that was cool they should have kept that design but you know, hey, it is what it is. They had to completely revamp everything, and you know what? Maybe we just have to accept it. So we already know that uh, Bandai of America are no longer gonna produce the toys after the end of this year. Hasbro took over. They took over the whole entire Power Rangers uh, license, and they're gonna be the new producers for the toys. So my, I felt like Bandai of America just needed to do one last hurrah, you know, to just as they get all their plans all out ready to go after the end of this year uh, hopefully hasbro you know once they continue on next year once they start on the, the new toys for the power rangers franchise you know with the beast morphers and you know this other power ranger stuff so what do you guys think you guys think once bana of america no longer produces the power ranger toys after the end of the year and once hasbro takes over do you guys think hasbro can give us power rangers fans really cool box designs but you think they can top off the premium looking boxes you know you think so i personally don't want to see you know like the hasbro power ranger toys being similar boxes to the um to all the marvel stuff you know i just wanted them to have its own style own flavor definitely definitely change themselves from the marvel toys bond of america did it big man they did it they did it right you know towards their you know their last efforts the last i mean during their last tenure with the power rangers toys um but i commend bandai for doing those changes man i definitely do you know they they definitely changed it up they definitely did it big for us fans you know they definitely did something they definitely want to do something before they before they, they want to do something they wanted to go out with the bang you know and they finally switch up the boxes and i again i commend them for that so that's going to be it for this little commentary i did for you guys today this power rangers box design commentary um if you haven't yet please be sure to subscribe to this channel you other you guys are fans of power rangers transformers beyblades you know pro wrestling anything 90s and 2000s be sure to hit that subscribe button and if you do hit that notification bell to receive notifications when new videos of mine come out um and if you haven't yet, be sure to follow me on social media. All my handles down in the description down below for Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. Please, wherever you are around the world, peace and love. We'll take care. We'll see you in the next video.